The Monte Grappa update for Isanzo dropped today, with it a new map and new weapons. So with no more delay, let's get into covering this newest update to Isanzo and all that it brings. <laughs> Before I really get into this, I'd like to state I'm not the best Isanzo player. I play it casually with my friends, so my review is more so one of a casual player, less so of a diehard fan. With that out of the way, let me just get into my thoughts here. First, and really the largest part of this update, is the new map, Monte Grappa. This map serves as the third and final point of the German intervention front, and honestly, it is awesome. This map takes the pure verticality and forestry of many other maps, and combines it into a beautiful result. The lower levels are densely wooded as Italian defenders fire from bushes, trenches, and trees against the attacking German army. But as they climb up the mountain, the trees decrease, and to replace it is snow. This thick snow is not only beautiful, but provides a proxy fog that can be used by defenders to continue to close their movements, or by the offensive, to conceal their next attack. In the middle levels, there are also some amazing underground trenches that honestly are just simply amazing. They're well designed, they're well set up, and everything about them just clicks. These really also showcase the ability of Isanzo to have not just amazing sniper battles, but also a beautiful close range combat. Really this map is arguably my favorite to ever release, so in terms of negatives, I don't have many. One thing I did notice though is that the AI on Xbox seemed a little bit more challenged on this map than on other maps, providing little to no defense at certain points. This could just be a bug on that round, as I experienced the pure opposite in my PC rounds, but it is something I figured I'd warn about. This update also does provide some other things to go along with it. Primarily, three new guns. A Drace for the Germans, providing them with a quick-firing pistol, and two new revolvers, one for the Italians and one for the Austrians. Really, these revolvers may help even out some battles, and the pistol might be nice for the Germans, but I'm really not sure that there will be any major effects from these weapons, aside from offering you more things to play around with on the different factions that were kind of available on other factions. Also with this update, there was a cosmetic DLC. I don't like cosmetics in most games, but I think how Hisanzo handles their cosmetic situation is perfectly fine. This new Expedition Units pack is pretty cool, and provides another cosmetic DLC for fans who are interested in such a thing. Finally, the devs gave us more info into what we should be expecting next following this update. And that is, this summer, we will be getting another map called Piana, as well as Mac support for the game. Some pretty cool news, and I'm going to be covering uh, that type of information as we get towards it, so it's just something to be able to be excited about moving forward, and I'm excited for it. That's really all I've got for you all today. I hope you all enjoyed my coverage of the Isanzo Montegrappa update, and hopefully you've been enjoying the update itself. This has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all well next time.